If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning 100,000 coins on Ultimate Team in my October giveaway, all you need to do is leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. Best of luck and enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Way here. Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete the brand new League and Confer Armor League SBC the cheapest and easiest way. I'll also be showing you guys all the packs we get from it at the end of the video. Now, as of right now, this SBC will set you back around 400k on Xbox and 380k on PlayStation. That is according to Footbin. Although, bear in mind those prices are like to drop down over the next couple of weeks and I expect they'll settle at around 250 to 300k. I'll leave a link down below to Footbin and that will show you the price of the SBC at the time you click on it if you are wondering how much it will be to complete. But I would recommend holding off on completing it for the next week or two as it will definitely drop down a lot. Bear in mind you do get 20 free packs in return so you can get a lot of coins back. You do actually get some really good packs for PSG. I think you get a 45k pack. There's a few 25k packs, lots of 15ks throughout. So you've got a lot of opportunities uh, to get coins back by packing some decent players but obviously the main thing you do the SBC for is the player pick and that is either an 86 rated Memphis Depay or 87 rated Torvan. So I'm going to show you guys the cheapest way of completing all 20 teams within the league and as there are loads of little things you can do here and there maybe like moving a player into a different position for example that will save you a few thousand coins for each team and it all adds up once you've done all 20 you can actually save about 50 or 60k following some of the tips I show you in this video. So if you guys have enjoyed if you do don't forget to leave a like on the video subscribe if you on your own here and without further ado let's go on into it. So we start off with Amiens which gives you a rare mix player back in return and for this I've used everyone in the right positions apart from a goalkeeper in at left mid. That's because the player who should be there was around 9,000 coins when I went to complete the SBC so alternatively I picked this guy up for just over a K and that saved me nearly 8,000 coins in total and we still get the chemistry and rating we require. Apart from that everyone's in the right position and this is possibly the most expensive team within the SBC just because both fullbacks are about 7 or 8k. The centre back here is like 8 or 9k and then both wingers are around 8 to 9k as well. You've got these gold cards that are quite cheap but the silvers are really expensive just because there's only one left back, there's only two centre backs, there's only one right back and I believe there's only one right and left mid as well so really really kind of rare positions here so this one will set you back a fair amount. I'd recommend just trying to snipe these cards and bid on them just because you don't want to pay like 7 or 8k for a non-rare silver left back try and snipe them try and get them a little bit cheaper and save coins here and there now if you guys do want to copy me which i expect you will these are the players we've got gertner el hadjam guano adenon lefort zungu monconzui cornet drea ganso and uh, konate they're finishing off the side so we're going to submit that that is the first one done quite expensive around 30 or 40k i believe in total uh, we do get that pack in return and we'll be opening all of those at the end of the video next up we've got angers and uh, i think this one was uh, a fair amount cheaper but still relatively expensive to save some coins i went with the goalkeeper in the right back position and then a centre mid in at right mid those two positions were really expensive i mean left back and left mid were also pretty expensive there as well um so you could do the same like if you find maybe like the, the right back when you look on the market is cheaper than the left back you can obviously use them in there instead and then you can use the goalkeeper on that side so i'd recommend just looking on the market as of right now this was the cheapest way of doing it but maybe when you go to complete it or maybe on a different console you'll find that like the 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 left mid is more expensive than the right mid so obviously you can get the right mid and use the center mid in there if that does make sense but the main core of your team is going to be gold and these gold cards are all cheap around a thousand coins or so you will have to pay a little bit more for the silvers but again you can try and snipe them you can try and bid on them that's why i would recommend doing don't pay the full price that a lot of these silver cards go for it's just too much but again if you want to copy me which again i expect you will we've got Butel, Boucher, Toma, Traore, Bamba, Santa Maria, and Doi, Capel, Manjani, and Toure. And then we finish off with Bahokin. And that, that gives us a premium Electrum players back in return. And you do get a lot of silvers back from these. So you've got the chance of maybe getting players that you used within these SBCs. Um, so you can get some coins back there. We've got Monaco, which gives us a gold players pack. And this one is pretty simple. I mean, all gold cards. Uh, I used a center mid in a left mid just because Chadley was about 2k as they only have one left mid. Uh, and then I used a center mid in that center forward position. Uh, this formation here, uh, just because if you use them there, they only get two chemistry, even though they're literally right next to the midfield. Um, but it's because they're a center forward, but still, we got the 96 chemistry we require. And I did use Glick, who's quite high rated, but he was cheaper than the other option at center back. Maybe when you go to complete this, Jemerson, the Brazilian center back who plays um, for Monaco, will be a little bit cheaper. But for some reason, Glick was really cheap, so 
I picked him up. Obviously, if you guys look on the market, you may find like a cheaper centre back or a cheaper striker when you look on the market at your time. But when I was doing it, this was the cheapest way. Again, if you want to copy me, we've got Benaglio, Sidibe, Glick, Radji, Bereka, Ronnie Lopez, uh, Ahalu, Pale. Ait Benasser, Golovin and Jovetic finishing off the side. We get a gold players pack which I believe is worth about 15k in return so that isn't too bad right there. We've got so many packs open so it will be big when we get to the end of the video. Maybe we can get like an ultimate screen player or something. Next up is Saint Etienne. Now for this as you guys can see I've used a right mid in the left mid position because they had a silver here who was like 5 or 6k so I just used a gold card that was a lot cheaper and then their left backs I think it was a silver he was about 4k so I used this centre forward Kazri in there instead. Uh, I also used a silver keeper there instead of Ruffier. Uh, and we've still got a 77 rating and you only need a 75. But in a lot of cases the golds are cheaper than the silvers just because they're more common on the market. So we have got Moulin, Debushi, Subotic, Perrin, Kazri, Mvia, Selenais, Hamuma, Salibu, Kabea and Beric finishing off the side. And we get a jumbo premium gold pack in return so a 15k pack which is always decent there. We've got loads of packs stacking up now. Next up is Dijon. So for this one here, as you guys can see, um, I've used everyone in the right positions apart from a striker in at CDM. Uh, they don't really have many options in the midfield, but they have like four or five strikers. So I just got the cheapest one and put him in here. Uh, again, just like with all these other ones, look at the silvers and try and get them on bid or snipe them. And also, like you don't have to use the exact same centre-back as me. Just look on the market and find the cheapest centre-back that's going to fit in here. Uh, it really does depend with these silver cards. They're up and down in price all the time. Literally just look on the market and find the cheapest centre back. Obviously apart from this guy here. So he's going to be cheap as he's a gold card. But find the cheapest silver that will fit in there. And do that with the same positions like the fullbacks and everything as well. But as you guys can see we have got Alain Goal, Shafiq, Simon, Agued, Bukamutu, Juno, Amal Fatano, Gorkuf, Quan Chang Hoon, Julio Tavares and Slitty finishing off the side. That gives us a rare silver players pack in return to so another chance to get some silvers that may have some good value. Uh, I think you, you do get some big packs coming up for the, for the bigger team later on that will still give us a good chance of getting some decent goal players. We've got Gangon as the next side. Now for this I used a lot of different position changes. We've got a goalkeeper in at right back. We've got a left mid in at left back because I think the left back was 10k. There was one on the market, so no way was I picking him up. This centre back here was a lot. He was like 6 or 7k, I think. And then this right back, I think he was like 8 or 9k, so I used a, a good bronze keeper there. And then I converted a striker down to centre forward and used him at cam. And converted the cam they had down to a centre mid and used him in at CDM. I looked on the market, the CDM they had... Because uh, originally I had this guy up here and then I, I was trying to find someone to go in at CDM. He was like 7k, which I, obviously you don't want to pay. You can save a lot of coins here though by just doing that simple position change. You get loads of position change cards from doing daily objectives and stuff. So you guys will probably have them already in your club. But definitely don't go out and spend like 10k on fullbacks. It's just not really worth it. Uh, and if you do need to, to pay a lot of coins, maybe for like the centre back, for example, try and snipe him. He was going for about 9k and I got that one for 7.5. I was in a hurry though, I was wanting to get all the players quickly for this video, so you can probably get them cheaper on bid uh, or anything like that. But going through the players, we have got Johnson, Kaya, Kebra, Eboa Boa, Umbakato, Dieu, Benazé, Blas, Coco, Rodelin. Rue and uh, there we go finished that one off and that gives us a premium electron players back in return I believe we already got that one for the first SBC as well I think that's a mixture of silvers and golds next up we've got Nantes we still have so many more teams to go uh, for this one here I've used uh, a striker in the left mid position and that is about it there now you can look on the market if the right mid or the left mid whichever one's cheapest uh, use them and then whichever one's more expensive replace them with a striker uh, and you're good to go. Again, obviously, like you don't have to go with the same striker I've gone with here. Look on the market, find the cheapest striker that's going to fit in. Um, but so, yeah, I've already gone through all that. And we get a rare silver players back from this. But these are the players. Tatara Sanu, Kwateng, Palwa, Diego Carlos, Luca Lima, Lucas, Evangelista, Torre, uh, Ka Kakalnic. Kakalnic, I think. That's how you say that guy's name. Salah, Gabriel Boschilia, and uh, Ngom finishing off the side. We're going to submit that. We get yet another silver pack. We're going to get so many players uh, that will probably have a lot of value because of this SPC later on. Next up, we've got Jarondin de Bordeaux. And for this one here, uh, we have got a lot of position changes again. So we've got a striker in at centre back because this guy here, just for a gold, was 2.2k for a non rare, which is quite a lot. The silver was like 6k, so I didn't want to go with him. So I used a striker there. And 
I converted De Previ down to a left mid, used him at left back, he was uh, originally a left winger because uh, I think their left back was a silver and pretty expensive. So going through the players we've got, Costil, Sabali, Cornelius, Pablo, De Preville, Otavio, Sanquer, Leo Rager, Calou, Brion, and Kamano finishing off the side. We get a jumbo premium goal pack, again a 15k pack back from this, which isn't too bad. I think in total you do get a lot of a lot of packs in terms of value. I think it's about 300, maybe 200k worth of packs back, which is not too bad. If one of you guys does work that out, let me know down below. Next up, we've got Lille, and this gives you a premium electron players back yet again in return. And for this one here, I've used a goalkeeper in a cam, and then I used a right mid in a left mid, just because the left mid I think was like a, a silver, who was pretty expensive. I think there's only one option in the, in the left wing position, or the left mid position rather, and he was like five or six K. So I used that gold card a little bit cheaper there. Uh, again, obviously you don't have to get the exact same players as me. You can find basically the cheapest card that you haven't used yet in the SBC. So it doesn't have to be like this specific goalkeeper. Just look and find a really cheap card. It might might be in a different position, but one that you haven't used yet in this team um, and use them in a cam. As I don't think they have an attacking midfielder. They used to. It was a gold and then he transferred away like before the game was fully released. So his card is in concept squads, but it isn't um, on the market. That does make sense. So we've got Magna, Selic, Jose Font, Gabriel. Uh, we've got Balo, Torre, Thiago Maia, Thiago Mendes, Bamba, Pepe. Jakubec and Loic Remy finishing off the side. So we're going to submit that one. I think we're about halfway through now. We still have a lot left to go though. Uh, actually, this is the halfway point with Montpellier. This video is probably going to be a very, very long one. So we get a rare mix players pack from Montpellier. This one, again, I've used a lot of players out of position. So we've got a goalkeeper in at left wing back. We've got a CDM in at centre back. We've got CO converted from striker down to cam in at centre mid. Um, and then I think everyone else is in the right position. So we've got three kind of position change players or players used out of position. In some cases, completely out of position, like the goalkeeper there. But it does save you a lot of coins overall, so I would recommend doing this. Uh, again, you don't have to get the exact same players as me. Um, I've made that pretty clear probably with each team. So we've got Leconte, Aguilar, Pedro Mendes, Hilton, Shakiri, Ligali, Pires, Lasna, uh, Cio, Delors, and Laborde finishing off the side. We get a Remix player back, as I said, in return. So that is the halfway point, and we still have a lot more of these to go. Uh, we've got Neem or Nant. Is, is this Neem or I don't know how you say, say this? This, um, this team's name. Um, but yeah, you get a mixed players back in return. Now the players have used out of position here. We've got a centre back in at left back and we've got a CDM in at striker. Their strikers are like 5k. Um, so you will probably have to use some players out of position. This one is quite expensive. I don't think they actually have any gold cards. So you would expect that. So in goal, we've got Valet, then Alakouche, Harek, Londres, Priancon, Bobby Chon, Vals. That guy, I'm not even going to try and say his name, Sissane, I don't know. Um, we've got this guy here, Vlad Shadimos, don't know what, what his name is, Diallo, and then Bozok finishing that off. So that one's quite expensive, a lot of silvers, but if you try and snipe them or get them on bid, you can definitely save some coins here and there. Next up, we've got Nice. This one's quite cheap because you've got a lot of gold cards. Now, save some coins. I used a goalkeeper in a left wing, and then I used a right back in a left back. Pretty simple right there. Saved a few coins. We get a jumbo premium gold pack in return. We've got Cardinal, Berna, uh, Dante, Harrell, Jale, Lise Malou, Makenjo, Danilo, Sam Maximin, Le Bien, Benitez finishing off the side. So, pretty cheap one there. Lots of gold cards. You've got people like Ciprion who you can use as well. Just look on the market. Find whoever's cheapest when you go to complete it. Next up is one that gives us quite a good pack. It's a gold players pack and that is for Olympique de Marseille. And it's pretty simple here. Uh, I used everyone in the right positions apart from a right back and a right mid and then a goalkeeper in a cam. But they're all gold so pretty cheap overall. We've got Mondanda, Saar, Rami, Rolando, Amavi, Strutman, Lopez, Sakai, Ocampos, Pele and uh, Germain finishing off the side. Very, very simple, very, very cheap to do as well. Uh, and you get a decent pack in return that could get you um, some profit or some, some coins back off what you spent. Next up is Olympique Marseille. This gives you a Prime Electrum players pack, which is quite good. Uh, so for this one here, um, I've used a centre mid in a left mid and a right winger in a striker. And uh, I think that's it for that one. So in goal, we have got Anthony Lopez. We've then got Tete, Morel, Marcelo, Mendy, Toussaint, Corne, Ferry, Ndombele, Traore and Dembele finishing off. Again, and there's ways of like maybe doing this a little bit cheaper when you look on the market for example Raphael might be cheaper than Tete 
But obviously when I went to complete this, Tete was the cheaper option. But look on the market, don't just go straight for Tete, just go for right backs and find whichever one's cheapest and you may save a few coins here and there. Next up we've got PSG or Paris Saint-Germain and for this one here we have used uh, Unkunku as a striker which saved me a fair few coins there just because you don't want to obviously get Cavani. Their strike force is obviously um, Neymar, Cavani and uh, Mbappe. You don't want to use any of them so uh, I also used Hesse Rodriguez in that right wing position. I think you could alternatively use Di Maria but he is more expensive so why would you do that? So we've got uh, Ariola in Nap. Then Danny Alves, you can also use Mernier, they're like the same price and same rating, it doesn't really matter. Kera, Kempembe, Kazawa, Diara, Draxler, Rabio, Hesse, Nkunku, and Chupa Moting. Finishing off, and we get a prime gold players pack, so 45k pack in return. I think that is about 25-30k to do, but you do get the best pack from uh, the whole SBC back from it. Next, we've got Strasbourg. Now, this one here gives you a rare silver players pack in return, and I've used... Uh, a goalkeeper in a left mid and a centre mid in a right mid. But apart from that, I mean, that's all I did really. I think the left mid was like 9k, so you don't want to be spending that on a silver. Um, and I think the right mid was also quite expensive. So we've got Cells, Lala, Aneba, Simakan, Carol, Martin, Liena, Gonsalves, Kamara, Cunye, Ayork, and uh, that is it. So I think everyone in that side is actually French, or at least French speaking. Um, the goalkeeper is is Belgian. Um, so we've got that one done. That was one of the more expensive ones, but you can save coins here and there. Next up, we've got SM Con. I actually used to live really near to this team when I lived in France a couple of years ago. Um, and for this one here, I've gone with a centre back in at CDM and a striker in a right wing, saving a few coins here and there. And we get a jumbo at goal pack in return. So in goal is Samba, then Gilbert. Jiku, Bayas, and Benge, Genovois, Far, Sanko, Mamou, Bovu, and uh, Hopa finishing off the side. So we're going to submit that one there. And we've only got a few more to go now. Stade de, is it Stade de Reims? I think that's how you say, say this team. Um, so this one gives you a premium goal pack. And we've got uh, a cam in at CDM. And um, I think that's it, really. Yeah, everyone else. Well, actually, we've got a centre back and a right back. But apart from that, everyone's in the right positions. So we've got Carasso, Desai, Fontaine, Abdelhamid, Conan, Martin, Chevalier, Ojo, an English player, Dumbia, Pierre Chocchi, and Chevaria there finishing off the side. Is Ojo on loan from Liverpool? Or did they buy him? I'm not fully sure, but. Always cool to see an English player playing abroad, and uh, I think we got some sort of gold pack from that, I think. I'm not sure. We've got the last two coming up now. Stad Rene is, uh, is, is the next one here. I used a player here who actually needs a position change quickly, and that is Nyang as a striker. So I'm going to use him as a left forward right here, and that is going to allow me to, to do this a lot cheaper because the striker from this side is quite expensive. Um, so we've got him there, and I've also got a goalkeeper in a CDM. So it doesn't really matter who you get, just get the cheapest card you haven't used already in the team and put them in that CDM role. Um, it may even be a CDM, you never know, maybe a midfielder, but at that time the goalkeeper was cheaper. So we've got Kubek, Danze, Da Silva, Mexa, Ben Sabaini, Germanas, Andre, Borgio, Saar, Grenier, Niang, and uh, there we go. Back to the beginning, we get a rare mixed players pack in return from that one. And finally, we've got one more to go after this. 19 packs stored up. We've got Toulouse, which is quite expensive, I think. This centre-back's a lot because they only have two centre-backs. And I think the left-back is fairly expensive too. I used a goalkeeper in a cam. And I also have to do the same position change here. And that is Jimmy Dermaz, who's playing as a striker. Uh, he is a default left mid, but I've converted him up to left forward. And there we go. That one is done. We get a jumbo premium goal pack in return. Going through the players, we've got Rene, Amiens, Fortes, Julien, Mbanje, Mbia, Sagan, Sagare, Dosevi, Gradle, Vidal finishing off the side. So there we go. We've got the whole SBC done. The first league SBC I've completed this year. Um, and we get some really, really good players back from it. As you guys can see there, Ligue 1 Conforama is complete. And we're going to get ourselves this League Uncon from SBC Reward Player Pick Pack. Let's see. I already know who I'm going to pick. You guys probably know who I'm going to pick. I mean, who who would you guys take? It's got to be Depay, hasn't it? I mean, let's look at the details, the stats. He's got 5-star skill moves. He's got high-low work rates. He's a striker. 91 pace, 86 dribbling, 82 physical, 85 passing, 84 shooting. That is a perfect kind of striker card. Apart from the weak foot could be 4-star. Apart from maybe a little bit more height. Apart from that, he's got like the perfect card you want, really. 
These in-game stats are very nice, really good shot power, really good acceleration, good strength for a striker, good agility and balance, really good free kicks, good curve, so he can bend those finesse shots in, which is really important. I reckon he'd be a really good attack midfielder because of that. I mean, yeah, he's just the, the one. Like, Torval's got decent stats, but if you're looking for a French right mid or a Ligue 1 right mid, just go with Mbappe, and you've got a much better player there. Like... Yeah, Torvan does have some good stats here and there, but it's nothing really compared to Depay, who's also, I think, a little bit easier to link into teams because of the fact that you can link him to, like, Fakir. Also, you can then go with maybe Promise or someone on the, on the left wing. You've got a lot of good Dutch players this year and a lot of good league on players. So, we are going to be going with Memphis Depay. There we go. We're adding him to the squad. He looks so, so good. Can't wait to, to try him out. And we've got a load of packs to open up as well. So I'm just going to go through these in order. We're going to start with the silvers and we're going to end with a 45k pack. I have no idea how long this video is. I just looked over at my recordings and it says it's been going on for 40 minutes. I think I'd have edited a lot of that out. But still, apologies if this video is like half an hour long. Now this is, wow, these packs are actually quite good. You get loads of silvers in them. And we start off with getting a league on player. Um, it's Clinton and Jay from Marseille. Doesn't actually go for that much. But I'm looking through here. We've got like... Darlow, who plays in the Premier League, so he'll be good for like future SBCs. We've got um, a player from Frosinari, one of the newly promoted sides in the, uh, the Serie A. So a few good players. I'm just going to send all these guys to the club. I'll do, keep like a rough estimate of the prices. That's probably like a 5k pack that we just got in total. I'll skip all these like trashy packs because obviously we're not going to be getting a walkout in them. Don't want this video to be like too long, not like an hour long. Okay, right here we get anyone. Oh, we get a left back. Yes, we, yes, yes. This guy. How much is he? We've come in big already. Look at that with a 9.5, like nine, no, a 9k player. First pack. That is sick. I still have a lot of uh, French League SPC investments to sell on. Um, in truth, it probably cost me to do this SPC about 100k because I invested a lot into it beforehand, picking up the cards when they're really cheap, which is always good. But um, uh, I mean, yeah, I did still have to go and buy quite a lot of players. Now, this guy is a little, little bit cheaper, but he'll be good when, when SBCs come out from that league. Likewise, like any of these other players, more Serie A players, for example, down here. Uh, we do get a Belgian Pro League player. I'm not going to go through and check the prices of everyone. You guys probably don't really care about that. But, I mean, we got basically like 15k back already. I'd say at least 15k, probably more like 20k, bearing in mind that I'll be keeping those cards till SBCs come out and they'll have more value. So we've already made probably about 20k back. Um, just with storing the cards in the club when I do sell them in the future. We get uh, Okaka here. May go for a bit as he's in the Premier League. Yeah, like a thousand coins. Uh, that guy there will probably go for a bit when an SBC comes out. Right now he's like 2k. This guy plays in the Eredivisie. There's not a league SBC right now, but there probably will be soon. Uh, Liga Bank over MX. He'll definitely go for quite a bit. He also looks like um, Kem from Love Island a couple of years ago. Um, we've got like a Belgian Pro League player here. He's, yeah, he's like 4 3.5 i mean that that's another like probably nearly 10k back from this pack alone because we've got like other players there from the belgian pro league all sorts that i'll sell on so that's about 30k back and now i'm not going to start skipping these ones just because you never know we could get like a walkout or an ultimate screen card or something let's just see i think if we can get if we can get one walkout in for more ultimate screen card so a, like a special card or a walkout if we can get either of those things i'll be really happy with that um, I'd say these gold packs are probably worse for like what you get back on average like yeah You could get like a, an icon or something But on average the players you get back aren't worth much Whereas with those silver packs you do get a lot of value Spanish goalkeeper Kepa that's not too bad in 83 I mean he's like a thousand coins, but it's not too bad We're looking at probably like 35k as what we've got so far That's just a rough estimate that I'm bearing in mind, but we get loads of players there. Right? It's not too bad um, We get a thousand coins there too. So bearing in mind that this SPC is like three, 399k, I think, is like the exact price. I said about 400k in the intro. We get another drop down, though. France, centre mid. It's going to be Rabio. He'll go for a little bit because of this SPC. Back to back drop downs isn't bad. Um, but yeah, it's basically like 400k right now. You'd want to get, I'd say, at least 100k back. I'd say at least 100k from, from your SPC packs. Well, maybe that's a bit too much. Maybe that's pushing it. But I think if you get 100k back, you can be happy, I'd say. 100k is a good amount, and we're probably at about 35 to 40k as of right now. Um, but I think if you get about 100k back, you can't really complain too much, especially if you're doing this when it's going to obviously be cheaper in the future. I think this SPC will easily drop down. It'll be, a, I think 300k would be an acceptable price for it. I mean, if if that Depay was on the market, he would 
probably be like 200k or so. Um, and bearing in mind that you get loads and loads of packs, like you get 200, at least 200k worth of packs, I'd say back. I don't think it's, it's I don't, I wouldn't say it's not worth it. Um, I think it really, it depends on like your, your, oh, we get a player pick back here, that's quite cool. I think it depends on like who you've already got. Um, I'll take Lozano, that's not bad. It depends who you've already who you've got in your club. Like if, you, if you maybe already have some untradeable strikers and you're not really going to use Depay, it might not be worth it. But like, if, if you guys have um, a team that he'd fit well into or something like that, or you're looking for like the perfect super sub, which I, I'm going to be using uh, e either off the bench or I'll just start with him and build a team around him. But I'm going to be using Depay consistently and I've been looking for like a really good striker recently. I've been using Zaha in the last couple of weekend leagues and he just isn't really up to up to scratch. Like I generally end up subbing off at some point in the game, bringing on someone like uh, Champions League or Man Dembele or some just something random really like that. I haven't really got like a nailed on really good striker. I've got like player with Mark Lucas. I've got loads of good players on my side, but... The one position I haven't found a sick player for that I really like this year um, is striker, and I think we've hopefully got that with Depay. I haven't used his card at all this year, even his regular gold card, but I'm hoping that um, we, we can do some good stuff in, in the weekend league or whatever with, with the new card. If you guys maybe want to see a player of you on him or something, you can you can let me know down below. We get Chupa Moting here. I've kind of lost track of the coin value. I'd say we're at like 50 or 60k right now. Um, obviously, bearing in mind, I haven't sold those silver cards. It will take a while for me to sell them. I'll be holding them until SBTs come out and stuff. Uh, Gorkuf, I sold earlier on for about 2k, so we'll list that one up. You, lots of the random non-rares. Any non-rares from Ligue 1, from the majority of teams, are going for a good amount now. Uh, I'm going to leave that Prime Gold Players pack till the end, just because that is the best pack that I believe we get in total from this, so um, yeah, we'll keep that. What's this going to be? Um, French, left mid, Kingsley Coman, is that Co Coman? Yeah, could have been Ribery, I think, I don't think he's a walkout anymore, but Coman's not too bad, don't think he has much value, he is a player I used at the beginning of the game, I used him and Goretzka and they were sick. I do actually need to get Goretzka back, he's someone, that type of player is someone I'm missing in my, in my weekend league team, he's someone I want to try out. Um, there is also a Chinese Super League SPC, I think, right now. I haven't really looked at that. It's not something I'm interested in because I invested in a lot of players in the league. I didn't really do that with the, the Chinese Super League. Plus, um, I don't really want either player from the Chinese Super League. It's like Renato Augusto and Oscar, I think, whereas Depay. I wasn't going to complete Liga. It would have had to be a, certain, like, a special player for me to do it. Um, and uh, I, I think he got, like, ticks the box, Depay. I, it would have had to be like someone sick, it would have had to be like Mbappe or maybe like Neymar or someone who I don't think it would have been. Oh, we get a walkout, we get a walkout, come on. What's this going to be? What's this going to be? Gold card, Italy, centre back, B Chiellini, B Chiellini. Oh, it's Bonucci, I don't think he goes for much, but it's a walkout. I did say I wanted a walkout. I think Bonucci is like 20k. Prove me wrong, EA, or maybe hide someone else sick in the pack or not. But I mean, for, for a pack that only has three rares, that's not bad. Let's see how much is Benucci. I was right. He's about 20k. I I was like, I was really hyped there because I've not packed many walkouts this year. Then I realized it was Italy and I was like, there isn't really anyone Italian that's good anyway. Um, I mean, who is... There's not like a big name Italian player, is there? That's a walkout. Maybe a Mobile. But I don't think a Mobile is that much. But yeah. Like, you've got a lot of kind of average players. I think Verratti is a walkout. Like, Buffon's a walkout. He's a goalkeeper. Like, yeah. When you see Italy, it's never really, like, an amazing player for a walkout. We do get Bella in there, which isn't too bad. But, I mean, I can't complain. 20k. I reckon we've made nearly 100k back from these now. We still have a lot of packs left to go, I think. I mean, these have been, in, been going pretty nicely. Can't really complain. Can't complain. These are just free packs we're getting back, and... I didn't spend that much on this SBC, not going to lie, like it was about 100k um, that I spent like after the cards I've invested in, which maybe cost me about 25k, so we're looking at about 125k for this, and we're making back a similar amount, and we get Cesc Fabregas here, which isn't bad, he actually goes for a, quite a bit, I think, because of the Hazard SBC, because um, you do need, I think, is it a full Chelsea team, or pretty much a full Chelsea team, let's see. He's like 8k, no, 6k, probably like 5.5k. These packs though, not going to lie, haven't been bad. They've not been bad at all. Given the fact that you don't really get many players in them, I mean, look at these packs. 
what's that? One rare card in the entire pack, and the rare card that we get is a really good one. And like here we get a silver card that goes for about three three point four k. I'll listen for that. So that pack there, that's like ten k back from it. I'm gonna go through and check my club, and you never know, I might have like players who go for a bit because of a Halloween SBC or something. I might have all sorts. What's this? This one had several rares in. I think it had like twelve players, twelve rares or something. I think it said there. We get an Italian centre back. That'll be Romagnoli. Romagnoli and Caldara, I think, are two two Italian centre backs from Milan. We get Romagnoli there, the higher rated of the pair. We get Benjamin Mendy. That is nice. He is a he is an expensive player. My transfer list is now full. He's not that expensive. I thought he was like 15k. He's about eight or nine k. It's not bad. I'll probably keep him and use him. Um, I do do want to try him out. Um, I kind of want to clear my transfer list, but also I kind of don't want to because it does have a lot of investments on that I'm like sitting on really um, to, to show you guys like, in videos and all that. Because I want to show you guys the price that I've sold a lot of my league on cards for. So I'm going to hold off on that. But we've got these packs to finish it off, and these ones are the ones we just opened that have 12 rares in. Give, it, give us like a, a big player to end it on. An ultimate scream, a walkout, or an inform is what we want. Jesse Lingard isn't too bad. I think he's maybe like 1 or 2k. But it's not amazing. We could have someone good hidden in the pack. Do we? No, we don't. We get a lot of silvers. These packs are quite good. I, I think some of these cards we're getting will probably have a, a good amount of value. But we'll quick sell those cards there. We've got another rare mixed players pack coming up. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, EA. Hook me up. We don't get a walkout. Could it be like an inform? It could not be. It's Portugal. Goalkeeper, Rui Patricio. No, it's uh, Lopez. 84, which isn't bad. He may go for a bit because of the SBC, I think. Is there re uh, I'm trying to think of other goalkeepers that they have. We get Acuna. We get Pavlenka as well, who's actually really good this year. Uh, I think it's because he's got the save with a feet trait or something like that, but he's... One of the best keepers I've actually used, Pavlenka. Um, but yeah, we'll send that stuff to the club. We'll quick sell those guys there. And we're going to finish on the 45k pack. Here we go. It's down to you, EA. I've put the controller down. I'm wearing this massive sweatshirt that looks very baggy. We, is that an ultimate scream card? It probably isn't. No, it's not. We got trolled. Wow. Um, that is Charles Arangis from Bayer Leverkusen. Not an ideal way to end the video. I have genuinely never got a good 45k pack. They're the worst packs on the game for me. We don't really get anyone uh, anyone of note in that pack. But there we go. That is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully this video has allowed you guys to maybe complete that SBC a little bit cheaper. Because if you go and buy everyone in the perfect positions, I mean, you don't need to really. So it's pointless. Like You can save coins by using players in different positions. Maybe position changing people. All sorts of stuff like that to avoid having to spend like... 10k on a silver card which no one wants to do but anyway this video has probably been like 40 minutes long so if you guys are still around here comment down below um fat dab um and uh, i'll like your comment or something but anyway hope you guys enjoy and i'll catch you later take care